Good morning, friends. I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon of posting some of these videos. It takes me forever because I have to do the voiceover and it's not an easy task to do. Anyways, this is a three-year-old Oak Creek gelding that was brought into training. His owners got him at four months old out of that herd over on the Tehachapi side. He's just grew up out kind of in a paddock area with another one that they had adopted uh, pretty close to the same age I believe and, uh, so this was his, Jeremy's first encounter working with him on the lead rope he had just come in that that morning that I recorded this and he kind of had his own agenda and, and, and thought that he, he just went around and did his own thing and dragging Jeremy around was acceptable apparently so Jeremy had to make a quick impression that dragging him around the corral was not the acceptable uh, reaction and kind of make an impression on him of, of the, that he he was a little more interesting to pay attention to should the horse choose to want to think about what he wanted versus what the horse was wanting so he's asking him to go around to his right right now and and uh, be able to leave without dragging him and kind of maintain a loose looseness on the lead rope yeah. have a little bit of feel in there while he left and the horse figured it out pretty quick as you'll see I didn't record the entire time but it was not more than 10-15 minutes that I didn't get so you'll see that he, he caught on pretty quick but and he came in kind of uh, tough for them to catch. He started getting uh, where he decided he didn't want it to be caught at home. So they were just leaving a, a halter on him. And so at the end of the video, you'll see a little bit where Jeremy um, fixed up that, that catching situation. <laughs> He's wanting to, to make friends and, and, and see what Jeremy wants. But at the same time, he isn't sure he's impressed yet. So anybody that doesn't know these horses, these black horses came from a, a herd of what they think they all descended from Morgan horses uh, back in the 1920s, a, a couple of brothers. The story goes, and I really don't know how much truth is to it, that these brothers were drafted into the, the military and, and uh, the, the government was gonna take the horses or, and, and they didn't want them to obviously, so they set them all loose. Well like I said, in the 1920s, and so now these horses have just lived and roamed on this land. It's all privately owned, and there's springs of water and such, so uh, they've just continued to grow. The, the little bit of management that's going on, <clears throat> the, the caretaker just stops them out. They catch them up in a catch pan and just adopt them out to anybody that wants to take them. Always crack up at all the crap he has in the round pen, but he leaves it in there for a reason. He wants the horses to pay attention and look at where their feet are going a little bit. Otherwise, they'll trip over it, and then they've kind of want got to pay attention a little bit more. So they have a, a whole lot to think about when they're in the round pen. You know, it's not just mindless, mindless moving around. You can see how much better he's gotten already in the short amount of time. Him crossing over in the hind hind quarters and, and being round in his body frame like that is, is just about as pretty as can be and his head round. Um, you don't want backward motion though there. It's always a forward motion. So that's what he's gonna back up and draw him to him a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's what he's saying, although I, I'm talking instead of him. See, these are the situations where unfortunately he's not mic'd up. And so you're either gonna get my voiceover or you're gonna get a bunch of wind and possibly some of his talking. And uh, it, it sucks we can't leave him mic'd up all the time, but there's so many impromptu moments that Either I video it and I voice over later, or we don't get it at all. So, there you go.
I worked on steady catching them. I worked on him bringing his nose to me. It's not about the task. It's about how you get to the task. 